uh, Finbar, do we need to worry about insects at this early stage? Do we need to spray? No. Why not? At this stage, the, the insect damage is can be completely compensated for by the plant. So normally the things you get at the early stage are things like leaf folder, a little bit of leaf folder and whirl maggot. Whirl maggot actually is the biggest problem this time of year. But as the plant grows, it just it just disappears because the plant, as the leaves get thicker, the maggots can't actually eat the leaf. But, you know, I, I keep worrying, I see things on the leaves like this here, you know, something's chewed on it. This is a whirl maggot? That's a whirl maggot, yeah. Uh, so nothing to worry about? No problem. No it, problem. It's just... Yeah. In fact, this is even light. It's not even a, you know, a, a, a normal infestation of world maggot. What is this here? There's a, some egg mass on it here. What yeah, these are these are probably some sort of parasitoid that has. So it's a wasp cocoon, mm. and these are beneficial again. So it's good news. Uh, these will fly off. There's about 40 of them there, so they'll fly off then and parasitize things like leaf folder. Um, larvae or um, other caterpillars, so they're again a beneficial insect. Mm. Finbar, I saw already saw a few lady beetles, is what I would call them. Yeah, are they, are they playing much of a role at this early they're stage? They're also very important. They're also feeding on on the natural uh, the the herbivore insects, so they eat eggs mainly. Um, also good uh, predators of aphids, and also the dragonfly. There's a lot of dragonfly flying around. Mm -hmm. One of the things when you think about insects in rice, you have to remember that in the water, another problem generated by rice is mosquitoes. And the dragonfly larvae live in the water. They have a very big, uh, strong jaws, and they prey on the dragon on the uh, mosquito larvae. So they're keeping your mosquitoes down. Mm. So really, there's a whole ecosystem here functioning to keep everything in order. I mean, one really has to look hard to see all these things. I see a little spider web here, and which yeah. some some little insects are caught in there. What are those? These are those midges that are flying around. These are the decomposer midges. midges. So they're again uh, beneficial. And spiders are very important uh, predators of things like plant hoppers, mm -hmm. mainly plant hoppers. So, yeah. but but you know, when I look around, I see lots of critters here, you know, insects of all kinds, with little things flying or crawling. Or, so is that? One of the reasons that some farmers think they have to spray because they see all these insects. Well, a lot of people don't understand what these insects are doing. So a lot of people, when they see these swarms of midges, for example, that are decomposing the, the material, they think it's a pest and they'll spray. Uh, the same with the world maggot. One of the biggest problems with the world maggot is, is that it, it induces farmers to spray, mm. but we never see any yield reduction. The same with um, uh, leaf folder. Looking quite good. Lee, do you have any worries about insects? When do we need to start worrying about them again? A little bit in Finbar's hands, my knowledge of insects is not particularly profuse. I'm probably more worried about the rats. I think the rats have just given us an early warning over there. Yeah, look at this. It's all chopped off seedlings here. Who was chopped out, which uh, probably looks like rat damage. So some mean rat went through here and uh, basically created a total empty patch here. Just chopped up on the right on the on the surface here. Gee, horrible. Not much we can do about that one. <laughs>